Hey guys and welcome back. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. I have been gone for like two weeks almost. I'm sorry but I just been working on things like for my blog, for my other businesses and just working on being able to bring you guys more consistent content. So I wanted to get something up for you guys. I know you've probably been wondering where I've been. So here today is this look and this has been my go-to summer look. Like my look for the summer. Every single day I'm wearing this. It's cool. It's effortless. Even this bun is like a part of my summer look because it's just way too hot for makeup if you know what I'm saying. In this video I give you three versions of this look. I give you morning glam if you have to get up really really early but you don't really feel like you know you have time for it. I give you afternoon glam where we just turn it up a notch and I give you this which will be my nighttime version of my no makeup makeup look. It's very good for the summer because when you go outside you don't feel like you don't want to feel like your face is just like melting off of your you know your skin and that's not what this is because it's all powder so your skin is still able to very much breathe under this I say the most dramatic part is the eye but like I said this is the third and last final version of this look and I just thought it would be fun to like show you guys what I'm wearing for the summer I don't care if it's 118 degrees outside I still feel like I want to wear makeup that's just who I am as a person I like being dolled up and dressed up all the time so you know sue me but anyway if you would like to see how I achieve this look pick up some tips for your summer makeup I know we're about to head on into fall it's now August but anyway if you would like to see how I achieve this look please be sure to continue to watch please like and subscribe and share this video and I will see you guys at the end So of course we're starting with no makeup. These brows, gotta get them on fleek, brush them out, you know. So I'm filling them in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil and I'm gonna use the brow gel to seal it. Using Becker's Ever Matte Poreless Primer, I'm gonna put that on all of the oily spots. This is a no makeup makeup look if I didn't mention it already. And I'm also gonna use Dr. Brandt's Pore No More just to give the skin an even, you know, look. So I'm starting off with concealer and I'm using this NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and I'm just concealing the normal places that the light catches your face. So I'm going to highlight all of those while conceal all of those and blend it out into the skin. And this just makes the under eye area and the, you know, the T-zone around the mouth, this just makes it lighter. I'm also going to put some on the center of my forehead and just down my nose, you know, just to brighten up the face. So using this MAC waterproof foundation, I'm just going to take like the smallest amount, as you can see, and I'm just going to dab it over the areas where I have like some spots, little acne spots, and I'm going to blend that out into the skin. This isn't like a full coverage look, but as you can see, my whole face broke out. It's terrible. But as you can see, this is not like a full, full coverage look. It's just, you know, perfecting the skin and making the skin look as even as possible with as less makeup as possible because it is hot as hell outside. And I'm just going to blend that and, you know, blend it into the skin and make it look flawless. Don't forget to do your forehead and your hairline. So going in with the NARS Caramel Concealer, this step is completely optional. I just like to be, you know, super bright. This is my daytime summer look. It's bright outside. You just want to look like you are just glowing from within. So I'm going over top and just in those same areas, just brightening the under eye area, brightening the tip of the nose and the mouth is just going to make the skin look even more flawless. So using this MAC Studio Fix in the color C6, I'm going to gently like dab that underneath of my eye and this is going to help set those concealers and also keep the under eye bright and keep it from creasing. And using this L'Oreal powder, I love this powder. I'm just going to tap that on all of the brown places on my face, like the places I want to look the most natural and look like skin and just, you know, look normal like how our regular face looks. That's what we are recreating. 
So I'm going to take the second powder, which is a little darker, and I'm just going to, you know, brush it through my hairline on the outsides of my face and the hollows of my face. And this is going to give us that natural contoured look. It's going to bring out our cheekbones, and it's also going to slim the face down, but like naturally slim the face down. I think this is like the most natural makeup look I've ever worn because it's so hot. So taking the Sasha Buttercup, I am going to do, you know, you guys know that I'm just extra. So I'm, what I'm going to do is take this powder and just press it into my skin until it disappears. I'm not baking or anything like that. I am just pressing it into the skin and I'm going to buff away any excess. And this just makes the face look so much smoother, like you just had balm skin. And I'm also going to dab that around my mouth just to set it. And I'm going back over top of it with some of the powder just to blend it. This step is optional as well. I'm taking my NYX contour kit and I am just, you know, deepening the contour. Taking my favorite bronzer, I am just going to do the hairline and my forehead. And this is just going to like warm the skin up and give us like that natural healthy glow. Like I love this makeup look for the summer. I don't think you guys understand. So if you wanted to be a little extra, as you know, I'm always extra, and put on a little eyeshadow, I'm going to take this MAC shadow and I'm just going to put it all throughout the lid lightly. Going in with this Swiss chocolate, I'm going to put that right over top of it, and this is just going to sink in the crease. And I say sink in because it like really looks like my eyelid just sunk in when I did that, so... And to warm up the crease, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just going to put that brown script on the outer corner of the eye and like blend it through the crease. And throughout the sides, just blend all together. And this just makes the eye look a little bit more natural. So taking this ColourPop Millionaire color, this is one of my favorite colors right now. I'm just going to take my finger and tap that onto my lid. I like this because it's not an opaque shimmer. It's more like a... I don't want to say transparent shimmer, but it's not like a heavy, heavy, powdery eyeshadow. So it goes on the eye really, really light, and it just, you know, it brightens the eye, and just, I just love what it does. So here I'm just taking Espresso and just deepening the outer corner of the eye just to give us a little bit of smoke. Just a little bit, but still keeping it very, very light. So taking this NYX liner, oh sorry, this is not even the NYX liner, this is the NYC liner. And I'm just drawing the thinnest line of eyeliner as possible, like just thin. I just want to make my lashes stand out. Now this is the part where you just load on a ton of mascara and enhance your natural brow, I mean your natural lashes. And using this... Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I am just going to use Golden Bronze and just, you know, make the face pop. Bring it out a little bit. I'm also going to put that underneath of my brow bone. Using Max Getaway Bronze, I'm going to be using this as my blush. And as you can see, everything with this face is just very natural and very light. To brighten the eyes, I'm going to be taking this MAC pencil and just drawing that into my waterline. This will open the eyes for our bright eye and bushy tail look in the morning. And then you just take whatever mascara you like and just load it on the bottom lashes and just bring those bad boys out, okay? Taking a little highlighter and I'm applying that to my cupid's bow and also to the center of my lips. I'm applying this NYX, I believe this is Coco Lip Liner. And then over top of that, I am going to be putting on MAC Lust Lip Gloss. And I'm going to spray my face with this Mario Badescu, I think I said that right, Rose Water. And this is the first look. This is my morning look. When you first just get up, look how good that face looks. So I wiped the lip gloss off and I'm reapplying the same lip liner. And I'm going to be applying Milani's Naked Matte Nude Lipstick. And I'm going to put that on. 
and this is for the afternoon like if you have like a nice little lunch date meaning you had a little extra time to get ready and I'm going to apply these I don't even know what lashes these are you guys but just any pair of like your natural most thin lashes like you just want a lash that's going to enhance your natural lash already I'm going to reapply some liner just to conceal the lash band and that should be it yep this is look two for the afternoon you know pop on a little lipstick and a little lash for drama and there you go so this is the last look for the last look I am going to apply another natural lash but it's longer and it's fuller and I'm going to put those right over top of those other lashes which is going to make the lash just a little bit more fluffy what I didn't show you on camera was I also deepened my crease a little bit with espresso I forgot I'm also going to take this Laura Mercier and I'm going to pat it on top of my lips. I'm going to reapply the lipstick and put gloss, the same gloss over top. And this is the final and completed look. This is my nighttime look when I go out. That's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, your love is definitely appreciated. If you have not already, check out www.laurenbridge.com and check out the things I've uploaded to my blog. It's more of like a lifestyle blog, I guess you can say, where just my random outlet of meanness is there. Some new posts up there. I believe there's a skincare post, there's a fashion post, and there's another post coming up. I've just been working and working and working on just providing and creating content with for you guys and not only that but just incorporating it into my current work schedule it's been a little hectic in here but I hope you guys enjoyed this look I'm sorry I took so long I know I was away for like two weeks you guys probably were wondering like where the hell is she but I was just working on my blog and other um, I guess projects that I have as well so anyway thank you as always for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next video bye